Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll explain my thoughts on the TP-Link Deco BE9300 Wi-Fi 7 home mesh system. As you may know from my previous videos, I currently have EE's busiest home 1.6 gigabit broadband. But the router supplied by EE only has 1.0 gigabit ports. Many of you have been asking how to get the full 1.6 gigabit internet speeds over Ethernet. And this is one of the solutions that I've come up with. I will compare the performance of this router with the standard EE Smart Hub Plus. Please note this is not a sponsored video. I bought this product for myself to use at my own home. Also, if you are upgrading your EE Smart Hub Plus, do not throw it away. It's the only router that EE will support, which is essential if there ever was a fault. And they'll likely want it back from you if you end your contract or if you upgrade in the future. Let's start off by having a look at the official specs on the TP-Link website. This router supports tri-band Wi-Fi. In addition to Wi-Fi 7, it also supports Wi-Fi 6E and previous Wi-Fi standards. My package from Amazon came with three separate routers, as is shown here, which connect using a mesh network. Each router has four 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet ports each of which can serve as a wide area network, or WAN. That means you can connect it to your ONT, optical terminal network, in other words, your BT OpenReach connection. Or, each one of these ports can be used as a LAN connection, that's a local area network, which you can use to connect your home devices. The Deco can be used instead of your EE Smart Hub and other ISP supplied routers. The router also supports wired backhaul, so you can connect an ethernet cable between all three routers to improve your speeds and performance. This also means that I also have three 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet switches built in, saving me from purchasing them separately. There were other routers on the market. Some only had one 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet port and some only supported Wi-Fi 6. I bought this from Amazon and here's the rather large box it came in. As you can see, it came with three separate routers that connected together to form a mesh network. The most important point for me though, was that each router had these four 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet ports, which allows me to use the EE 1.6 gigabit broadband connection at full speed. Inside the box, a separate section contains the three power adapters, one for each router, a quick start installation guide and a short ethernet cable. Looking at the router itself, you can see the four 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, a USB 3 port, a WPS button and a power socket. The USB port can connect a hard drive to share over the network. It can also be used to set up a backup drive for Time Machine if you're using Mac OS. There is nothing functional at the top or bottom of the router. Setting the Deco up was easy. You can download the TP-Link Deco app from the Apple Store I note it also mentions in-app purchases. You can, if you want to, purchase a Security Plus subscription as an in-app purchase, which appears to be a cyber security product from Trend Micro, but I did not subscribe to this myself. It provides cyber security at a router level, so it may well protect against malicious attacks not only against devices on your network, but also security cameras and other things that don't have their own inbuilt cyber security. The app detected that I was using a PPPoE, that's point to point protocol over ethernet connection to connect to the internet and asked me for my username and password. This is how your home router connects to your ISP. You can get this authentication details from your ISP. If you're using EE, they have this information on their website. In the app, you can set a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz and a Wi-Fi 6 GHz network, which is Wi-Fi 6E, and also something called the multi-link operation, which is an option in Wi-Fi 7 to use multiple links between the router and your device to get much higher speeds. I don't currently have any Wi-Fi 7 devices, so I cannot test the MLO, but I will test the Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6E network speeds. Wi-Fi 7 devices are around the corner. If you select Wi-Fi 6 and above, you can also select WPA, version 3. WPA stands for Wi-Fi Protected Access and this is more secure than WPA2 which has been around since 2018. 
This scrambles the connection between your device and the router's Wi-Fi access point, making it harder for someone to intercept your connection and compromise your privacy and cybersecurity. Once you set your passwords, the mesh network starts communicating and you are ready to go. Before we go any further, if you're finding this information useful, please like our videos and subscribe to the channel. It really helps our videos get out to more people. I notice websites responding slightly faster when using Wi-Fi and wired connections on the Deco compared to the Smart Hub Plus. YouTube videos loaded up slightly quicker and web pages responded quicker to clicks. The difference is small but it is noticeable even if I use a PlayStation 5. The Deco appears to move data around the home network faster than the EE router. Another thing I noticed with the EE Smart Hub Plus router is that it would often slow down the connection after an extended period of time and the Ethernet port may even downgrade from 1 gigabit to 100 megabit. Resetting the EE Smart Hub Plus corrects the issue, but it is annoying. I could not get the EE Smart Hub Plus to work in modem only mode. It does not have these features and must be permanently disconnected to use the Deco system. The Deco has great mesh coverage inside my four story home, but coverage outdoors diminishes rapidly, as was the case to be honest with you with the EE Smart Home Plus. This can be a problem if you have an EV connected to Wi-Fi outside your house. Let's move on to the speed tests. First with the 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection. We have superb results and achieved what we purchased the Deco for, a genuine 2.5 gigabit home connection. Now let's try the Wi-Fi 6E speeds from my iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is also very good. We're getting almost 900 megabit download speeds using Wi-Fi 6E. In conclusion, if you want to use the full potential of the 1.6 gigabit broadband connection, you will have to replace your EE default smart home plus router. EE may well release a new router with 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports as time passes. The TP-Link Deco works well, but it's still relatively expensive due to the Wi-Fi 7 compatibility which to be honest with you, I don't need at the moment. If you're interested in purchasing this router, there is an Amazon exclusive and I've put the link in the description below. As always, I welcome your thoughts in the comments and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.